second Kings chapter six, verse number one. Somebody say, I walk in the supernatural. I walk in the supernatural. Hold your mantle, everybody. Hold your mantle. Everybody, hold your mantle. Hold your mantle very well. The supernatural season, anything can happen. And everything can happen. Lift up your mantle. Say, I'm a carrier of the supernatural. I'm a carrier of the supernatural. Say, I move in the supernatural. I move in the supernatural. Now, let me tell you what the supernatural has done. There was an old woman that had cancer of the legs. Stage four. Getting ready to die. The family came here, we prayed. By the grace of God, now she was just there. She jumped out of the wheelchair. And she's walking by herself. Number two, there was a lot of fluid that was inside of her. Every day, they have to go and drain it. They said after the direction, the fluid had vanished. Slow. If they have pictures on there or video, let's see it. If they have it, the Akusombo family. The Akusombo family. Something has been transformed. Your Christian life should be full of the supernatural. That's the old woman. They say she was just that. She said, Baby, say me sorry. She started working. She doesn't use the wheelchair anymore. Doctors gave her last night to die. Slow. And let's see when they are doing the fluid, what comes out of her. It's quite gross. They said the thing has stopped coming. And the serious thing is that that family, there was a girl in when they came. I prophesied to her that somebody has taken her pen. And the devil wanted to actually make sure that she doesn't complete school. The girl now came and said, Prophet, anytime I'm going to write exam, when I sit there, I go blank. Sorry. So she's always rewriting her paper. So the time I was giving the prophecy about a month ago, not knowing she has written her exam at Ghana Telecom University. And she said she didn't write anything. But she said, Pro Prophet, because you, pre you prophesied to me, Jesus. I know God will do it. Yes. When her results came, A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B. It's there. Let's see it. It's there. Let's see it. It's there. Let's see it. It's there. It's there. It doesn't mean that go on empty her. Oh, um, the results, the results is A, A, B, B. Look at it. Look at it. A, A, oh, Charlie. A, A, B, B. And even the last one was C. Plus. So right, Someone say right. the supernatural. The supernatural. Second Kings chapter 6, verse number 1. Something is moving in the name of Jesus. Now I read. It says, The company of the prophets said to Elisha, Look, the place where we meet, where we stay, it is too small for us. You are about to get to a realm. I said you are about to get to a realm where littleness will not be your portion. God is about to give you supernatural expansion. South expansion. Expansion. Let's go. Let's go. Now let's all read together. Let's go. Let us go to the Jordan where each of us can get a pole and let us build a place there for us to meet. And he said, go. He said what? Go. He said what? Go. He said what? Go. They asked for permission. And he said go. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. Anything you request, you shall grant it. Amen. I said it shall be granted on your behalf. Yes, Lord. Somebody shall go. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's read together. Then one of them said, Would you please come with your servant? I will. Elisha replied. And he went with them. They went to the Jordan and began to cut down trees. That's right. As one of them was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head fell into the water. The iron oh, no. The iron axe head fell into the water. Let's continue. Oh, no, my Lord. He cried out. It was borrowed. Continue. The man of God asked, where did it fall? When he showed him the place, Elisha cut a stick and threw it there and made the iron float. Your iron will float. Amen. Verse 7. Lift it out, he said. Then the man reached out his hand and took it. Now help me to give the title of my sermon. This one you are saying to yourself and say, by the grace of God. By the grace of God. My miracle. My miracle. Will swim to me. Will swim to me. You may be seated in the Amen. presence of the living God. Amen. Men of God, please help me. Let's pour the water. I believe in illustrations. Let's flow. Let's go. Pour more. Pour. Oh, oh, oh. Lift up your right hand. 
Say my miracle will swim. My miracle will swim. Now the Bible says one day, Prophet Elisha was there. Then the sons of the prophet showed up and said, Man of God, where we are staying, it is too small for us. We need an expansion. Anytime you are ready for expansion, get ready for opposition. Because the enemy wants to keep you so little. But God also wants to multiply you. Yes, Lord. But any agenda to Jesus. bring you down, God is about to break it right now. Man. Now, now hear me, hear me. He says, he says, he says, he says, right now, it's so small. We want to expand. But before they will make any journey, they went to their senior, that is Elisha, and said, We want to expand. And he said, Go ahead. In life, if you don't move under authority, you can never become great. Jesus. Because if you, for you to be a president, somebody has to swear you in. Yes, sir. Listen. In order to experience the grace and the message of God, you have to obey. Tell somebody, obey. Obey. Now, Elisha said to them, you can go ahead. And even in the moment of the obedience, they experience an obstacle. I believe you and I would have asked a question, man of God, if he is truly from God and he knows the axe will fall into water, why did he tell us to go? When God gives you an assignment, get ready with opposition on the way. Yes, Lord. But because God gave you the word, he has already created an opportunity, an avenue for your greatest miracle. Jesus. Now the Bible says the moment they got over there, they are excited. And where they need to go and cut the wood, the Bible says it was by the Jordan, it was by a river. Every miracle you need is at a location. My God, my God, my God. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 I, can't, I, I, can't, I can't feel you. Let's go back. Let's go back. With the sermon, don't mix me. Let, let's go to the, through the test. Let's go, be going through the test. L verse 2. He says, he says, let us go to the Jordan. There were many people over, uh, many different places over there. There was Jericho. There was Gigal. But where the timber was located was in Jordan. Power of worship, I came to ask you one question. Where your greatness is, where is your Jordan? In case you miss your Jordan, you have delayed the life. And God has created Jordan for everybody. But unfortunately, everybody's Jordan is not the same. My God. Yes, Lord. Listen, my Jordan can be at Nungua. And your Jordan can be at Spinter's Road. And somebody's Jordan can be on the East Legon place. But at the same time, if I see your Jordan is at East Legon. And I go there and my own is at Nungua, I will delay so I, many people are copying other people Jesus. and because of that they are being delayed in the shadow of comparison and competition Jesus. are rejected by the fire yes, Lord. hold on hold on hold on he says let us go over to the jordan i came to ask you one question where is your jordan but unfortunately any place where is your jordan that place is never nice because jordan river is a dirty river at the table because every day people were standing inside jordan river is never nice but the place where it's not nice that's where the miracle is located because it is in my mess god prepares me my miracle yes lord yes lord so somebody hear me you can look at me today like a jordan but get ready my miracle is in my jordan yes lord that's why the people who thought you can never make it they saw you as a jordan but something big is about to come out yes, of you. Lord. Shout, my Jordan. My Jordan. Will vomit my miracle. Will vomit my miracle. Now hear this. The moment they go to the Jordan, that is the location. They are excited. And that's where the message begins. The Bible says, and they started cutting the wood. Hold it, hold it, hold, hold it for me. They started cutting the wood. Ajay, ajay. And whilst they were cutting, they were singing, a radia boyo, a radia boyo, that unfortunately the axe fell into the water. Oh, rabbit. Pour, pour it inside. The devil is a liar. Pour it inside. Pour it inside. Pour it inside. No, it, it's okay. After the service, people come and tie the water. It's a blessing. Amen. No, no, still, still I need it. Still I need it. Man, this one fine shim. Hear me? Whilst the axe fell in the water, the Bible says, put it there, perfect. Yeah? Okay, the media needs it for their production. Is it okay? Perfect. Now, while they were excited, give me the wood. While they were excited cutting the wood, the Bible says, and the axe 
fell into the water. And the problem is that it's a man of God, for it was even borrowed. What will you do when what you borrowed has left your hands? Jesus. It is not for you anymore. Number two, you need to cough it out to the person. This is what I call the unexpected disaster. When you, when you were coming to Accra, you didn't know that some battles were going to show up. And all of a sudden, some unexpected. When you got the money and you bought the land, you were excited. You didn't know that along the line, your business will collapse. When you rented that place for the two years, you were so excited, didn't know towards the end of the two years, where your money is coming from will be locked. It is called, hear me, it is called the unexpected. Nobody plans for disaster in life. When Donald Trump woke up in the morning and he says, I'm going all the way to Pennsylvania, he didn't know that a Thomas Crook will have a bullet to kill him. It's called the unexpected disaster. What will you do when you get to the place of the unexpected? But any time the unexpected shows up, that is the time the supernatural also shows up. Yes, Lord. Because the supernatural is designed to break and stop the issues of the unexpected. And the Bible says all of a sudden, the guy said, man of God, you've got to help us. But before the man of God will help them, let me give you the revelation. The moment he told them to go, one of them said, come with us. If they have not said, come with us, and I can see here, who will help them? Power of worship, I came to ask you one question. Who is your man of God? Jesus. Do you have a man of God that speaks into your life? A man of God you respect? A man of God, when he talks to you, that sit down, you sit down. Or wake up, you wake up. A man of God that when he tells you to pray, you will pray. Who is your man of God? Thank you. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. You can have different men of God. But you have to have somebody who speaks into your destiny. Because let me tell you, oh, 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 you can clap your hands. Because hear me, in as much as God can do everything, God has representatives on earth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whether you like it or not. And they are the mouthpieces of God. That when they speak, God answers. As a church, we have our man of God. Every month, our man of God, Bishop Oye Bernard in Amsterdam. We send our sacrifices and our tithe to him all the time. And whatever that we give, we don't even give 10%. We give more than that. And hear me, any time we give to him, he releases massive blessing on us. Towards the end Sorry. of the service, the media should remind me. He will send audio and say, man of God, let me pray for the church. And one of them, I just remembered and I told the media, let's play today. So later on, we will play today. So all these blessings come over you because a man of God's mouth word is on you. Hey, I'm a child of God. I walk in the supernatural. It's so amazing. But listen to me. A man of God has to be in your life. Oh? Oh, 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 oh? Yes, sir. Oh? Yes, sir. Most of you have gotten dreams over here before. And when you had a dream, somebody showed up was about to kill you. Then that Prophet Daniel appeared. Oh, have you seen it before? That's yes, right. When Prophet Daniel appeared, it's not just Prophet Daniel. It is the altar your man of God stands on. My God. Because my when God. the altar is showing up, Jesus. the altar shows up in the midst, in the Jesus. face Jesus. of the one who works on the altar. Yes, Lord. And today, whoever has seen me in the dream before, Jesus. all the blessings that God has designed for you, yes, Lord. I drop it over your life right now. Yes. And all the escapes, may you escape in the name of Jesus. Yes. Have you ever borrowed something in life before? And what have you borrowed before? And anything you borrow, when, when you are moving, you are not happy. It's like when you go and borrow your friend's car. Everybody will be clapping their hands for you. But any small thing, you are afraid of a scratch. Because when, explicit to me, when you borrow somebody's car and there's a scratch, you have to go and fix it. But when it's your own car, there's a scratch, you That's can right. leave. Ah. Now, these people have moved into a place of borrowing. But the man of God showed up. He said, he cried out. It was borrowed. Verse number 6. And it will surprise you what happened in verse number 6. The man of God asks, Where did it fall? Let's all read together. Let's go. Where 
Where did it? Let's go. Where did it fall? Again. Where did it fall? One more time. Where did it fall? For the last time. Where did it fall? And the Bible says, and they showed him the place. This is where your good news is coming. Amen. Amen. The man of God asked them, where did death fall. fall? And they showed him the place. Can I give you the good news? The same place you fell. Yes, Lord. The same yes, place Lord. they wanted to finish you. Yes, Lord. The same place they wanted to fight you. Yes, Lord. It shall be the same place of your elevation. Amen. I declare by the message of God, Jesus. I move you to the family house. Yes, Lord. Whoever wanted to kill you there, Jesus. it shall be the same place God will favor you. Amen. I move you to that workplace. Jesus. Anything that is done against you over there, Jesus. it shall be the same place. Yes, Lord. The same hospital doctors told you you yes, are sick. Lord. It shall be the same hospital the same that the hospital. doctors will tell you you are free the same school your disgrace was coming it shall be the same place shout the same place place. sit down for a minute i have eight minutes to go just come fast tell somebody the same place I can't say the same place. The same place. Say, say the same place. The same place. Say the same place. The same place. Say the same place. The same place. God is about to turn things around yes, at the same Lord. place. Now listen to me. Jesus. If anybody has buried your destiny somewhere, my God, my God. I go back to the same place. Yes, Lord. And I command it to resurrect right yes. now. Shout and say the same place. The same place. Sit down. Now the Bible says, the same place, Prophet Elisha. Prophet Elisha. It's very strange that this thing that we are using, there are two that they bought. As if God knew that a break up, a break will come. Wow. So, tell me, Mr. Jemba to get that one ready for second and third service. And that one I'll be very careful. The Bible says, now this is the revelation. Elisha cut a stick. Elisha did what? Cut a stick. But I have a problem. Their axe is in the water. So why, why is he cutting a stick? And what is he using to cut a stick? That's why you have to be poet to hear this word. Because their axe, where is it? In the water. But Elisha is cutting sticks. Thank you. That's why you need a prophetic preacher. Can I break it down to you? Yes, sir. Although their their axe fell in the water, Elisha still had his own. And there's another question. If Elisha had his own, why didn't he use his own to build the the, the whole thing for them? Elisha was saying, I can help you today, but I can't help you forever. So God is about to give you somebody who will not help you, yes, but he will show you the yes, way. Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Because I if don't. you buy fish from me today, I will eat it today and it will end. But if you take me to the river and show me how to fish, yes. tomorrow when you are not there, I can still fish. Yes, God is about to give you a permanent blessing. Amen. A permanent favor. Which means the healing coming to your body. Jesus. It will not be healed of malaria. Yes, Kidney shall be healed. Yes, Liver will be healed. Yes, Brain shall be healed. Yes, your children will be healed. Yes, Everybody around you will be, be healed. So Elisha still had his own. Thank you. Supernatural. Supernatural. So when he cut a stick, he put a stick and drop it there. When he dropped the stick in the water, the Bible says, and the iron started floating. Church, I don't understand. Listen, this goes beyond Archimedes' principle. It goes beyond the laws of flotation. It doesn't work. It goes beyond the laws of gravity. The law of flotation says for an object to float, the weight of the object is supposed to be equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. So let me explain it to you. Thank you very much. I come and say, I'm a doctor. So I'm a doctor in the spiritual realm. 
So let, let me show you the meaning for loss of flotation. Yes, for this object to float, the weight of this object is supposed to be equal to the weight displaced of the fluid displaced. What's the weight of the fluid displaced? The far horn. And what say? The weight of the fluid that came out no, is supposed to be equal, equal to the weight of this one. So have you seen that the weight of the fluid that came that was small? No, it didn't float, it has gone down. So for something to float, the weight of the thing now, the atom, no, it has to be equal to the weight of the fluid now. That is the meaning for loss of flotation. And now, this axe is heavy. And when it was placed in the river, the river didn't even displace any fluid. Because it's so a tower. So there's no way it has to float. Don't, don't clap yet. But the Bible said it was floating. Now, when something is floating, it means it's on top. The Lord says, any downside you wear, Jesus. you are about to come on top. Yes, Lord. Whoever tried to bring you down. Jesus. So listen, the laws of gravity tried to bring the axe down. But the more the axe was going down, it was floating on top. Somebody get ready. And this thing can never be explained. The answer is simple. The super. God. Another translation says something. The KGV says something and it will surprise you. It says, and the iron was swimming. Have you seen iron swimming before? Oh, sis, I know you go to pool. How many people like to go to pool and swim? Me, I'm, I'm afraid of water. In little, little water, I'm afraid. When, when, when I'm even driving and I see beach on the side, I'll go to the opposite side. Because maybe the water will come and, and take me off. But somebody hear this, hear this right now. Somebody hear this right now. The iron was swimming. Wherever your destiny was kept, it's about to swim to your direction. Burn. And hear me, it's not only swimming to your direction, but when it swims to your direction, because listen, there's one thing, something swimming to your direction, and another thing not able to have it. But when it swam to their direction, let's see what happened in the NLT. The verse number seven. Look at what happened. So it's not about swimming. Let's all read together. Let's go. Grab it. Elisha said. And the man reached out and grabbed it. So when your miracle swims to your direction. Jesus. Be on your feet, I'm done. Be on your feet, I'm done. Yes, I said, when your miracle swims to your direction, what, what do you do? You grab it. When your favor swims your direction, do what? Grab it. Because if you don't grab it, someone else. My God. Jesus. And now do you know what happened again? They will cut more wood. And after cutting more wood, they will go and build a bigger place. And everybody will be comfortable. So Prophet Daniel, what is the supernatural? Can I explain the supernatural to you? Whilst you are standing, I have 30 points. I'll only give you five. Next week I'll continue. Can, can, can I tell you? You need the supernatural in life so that anything buried in your life will come back to life. Uh, Number two, oh, those who are saying, Amy, you are Nigerians. Uh, I said, those who are saying, Amen, you are Nigerians. Uh, because Nigerians like to say good Amen. They, when they say Amen, miracle uh, comes. Nigerians can say Amen for the house to collapse. Now, why the supernatural? Your any greatness buried in water will begin to float. Uh, Number three, whatever was sinking in your life, it will come on top again. Uh, number four. I, I, I like this one. Can I give number four? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that anything you started. Touch, touch, hear me. I didn't continue, but you are screaming. So that anything you started, you can. Anything you started, you can. Finish. Slap your hands and bless God. Yes, sir. Yeah, let me give you number five. It's 30, but let me give you five. So that you will not remain the same way. Ah, I, I like the number six. Can I give you number six? That's right. 
I wanted to give you five. five uh, can I give number six? Can I give number six? The number six, the, the one who shout the loudest. It will be part of your life. Can, can I give number six? Do you know what is in the number six? Because of the supernatural, you will not borrow again. I speak in the name of Jesus. You shall not borrow again. You will not borrow again. Come and the altar. Come and the altar. You shall not borrow again. You shall not borrow again. You shall not borrow again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Borrow cross. Check the lines well. You know all of you cannot come. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Follow yes, cars. It's okay. Don't worry, when we are bringing the seed, then you come. Don't worry, when we are bringing the seed, you come. The spaces are too small. Lift up your right hand. Man of, man of, man of, man of God, man of God, man of God, Prophet Daniel. Where in the test can you show me that they will not borrow again? Because now that when they build a big platform, they will live well. Money will come. The next time when they want to build again, they will not borrow. They will have their own. Yes, Lord. Lift up your right hand. Jesus. Lift up your right hand. One prayer. We are about to tell God. Someone shout the supernatural. The supernatural. Child of God, let me tell you. You can't be a Christian who doesn't work in the supernatural. I don't testimony. Testimony. I know the power. And the moon fast. But you don't want me here. Listen to me. All this fire, fire, we are about to fire. Testimony, Ama. Yes. Lift up your right hand. My God. I sleep and drink with testimonies. Lift up your right hand. Say by the supernatural. By the supernatural. So, child of God, hear me. Supernatural should be your daily bread. See something. A child, that when the child was born, the lady is here. I can't play the full video. When the child was born, the heart could not form. So you know, if the heart is supposed to form like this, the heart formed only like this. So they brought the child to me around when the child was born, and doctors told them that this one they can't even do anything at all, no holy heart, nothing, because if it's holy heart they can correct. But this one, the heart they didn't form. If the heart is supposed to be like this, the heart is like this. So they told them that the child can die at any time. Then the lady here, the lady is here. Sister, wave your hands, wave your hands, and the husband is here. Wave your hands. And they came to me two years ago and said, Prophet, this is our child. Doctor said, anything can happen. At that time, we didn't even have mantles over here, so I told them to go and look for their own mantle. Prayed and I said to them, this is what the Lord says. The boy is not permitted to die. The boy will live long. Amen. Ah. Doctors told them, listen to me, we've been doing this job for a long time. This boy will know because the heart didn't form. So you can't go and even do another heart. The heart didn't form. You can't. Then do you know something? We prayed, we saw the face of God. When the child was born, they brought the child to me. This is how the child was. Look at the child. Look at the child. Let me tell you, Christianity without the supernatural will cause them to laugh at us. Show me that, that photo of the child again when the child was small. When the child was small, look at it. Child of God. When they came, I said to them, Jehovah says the child will not die. Amen. And I think the father and the mother, they had faith, but it got to a time that it's not easy. I said to them, the child will not die. The child will, the, the child will not die. Now hear me. I come to give you the current version of the child. Shh, don't clap yet. You are shouting, you have not seen but the Bible says, blessed is the one who Jesus. can I give you the current version? Yes, sir. Let's go to the current version. I go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Those who are screaming, something is changing. Those who are screaming, something is shifting. Those who are oh my God, my God, my God. Lift up your hands. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Sister, I even forgot. I'm sorry. Sister, I'm up. Last Wednesday, 
at the wild service, Auntie Denise had a powerful testimony. For 10 years, she's not been able to go to UK. She has a house in UK. She can go to every country in the world. She can't go to UK, being blacklisted. She came to church, we prayed for her. And, and the Spirit of the Lord told her, go and apply again. Denise went again and she applied. In two days, she has gotten the visa after 10 years. So when she was giving the testimony, she said, Prophet Daniel, I beg you, but I want to say something. I said, what is it? She said, at the Powi city, at the Powi altar, we they pray and miracle day. Oh, can I declare? So this is our slogan. We they pray. We they pray. We they pray. Lift up your hands. Why are there so many miracles in this house? Listen to me. Your pastor, let me tell you the truth. I don't eat. I don't eat. Last night, Pastor Jemba, last night I ate late. I ate around. I don't know the time I ate. It was even, when, when I say ate, it is drink I drank. I drank naked juice. I drank, sorry, I drank naked juice. That was, yeah, naked. And I think bread or something. I don't eat. My life is all about the kingdom. Listen to me, what makes me excited is when I see you do well. When I see you do well, shh, shh, shh. listen, I don't let any battle block me because I am focused on making sure my assignment for the kingdom, it is done. If you live your life to please human beings, you will always fail. Oh, 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 can I declare to you? I said, if you live your life to please human beings, you will fail because the person you are pleasing, baby, and I dream that so listen to me you've got to focus on the kingdom focus on the supernatural and focus on your life and amazing things will happen for yes, you Bowie, Bowie. They pray. miracles they happen. Bowie, with the pray miracles they happen. lift up your hands i was just there a few days ago then brother godwin brother godwin he is the Programs, producer, everything for Abeku, okay FM. He's the one that always pushing me that Prophet Daniel, make sure you are there. I was just a few days ago, he called me and said, Prophet, I want to call you and tell you that God has opened the way. I've got a UK visa. <laughs> and, and, and this is what he says, Prophet Daniel, I, I'm, I'm just going to UK for um, two weeks and I'll come back to Ghana. And God has done it for me. Can I declare to you? Yes, Lord. And all of them, when they get the visa, they say, don't, they want to come to the public altar again and come and tap it before they go. Child of God, don't look down on yourself. Amen. Listen, next week, I'll give you part two of this same sermon. The sermon I brought today, let me show you. I finished, I've, I've been doing my sermon at 5 a.m. today. The sermon I brought today, I've not even done one at the time I'm in the United States. I'll let you give you quarter. This is what I gave you. So while she were busy sleeping and gossiping, this is what I was writing on. Making sure your destiny will change. And yesterday was a long day at um, um, mentorship, um, young professionals. I had to make sure. These sermons, I know them all. But if I'm coming to you and I've not written, I feel like I don't respect you. I feel because, ah, it will be too I said, my good production. So I have to sit down, pray. And I, I, I woke up at 7 o'clock. I've been pre- listening to me. When I'm writing, then God will give me revelation. That's why when you, you, I'm preaching, you say that, ah, I've not heard this one before. It is called Rema. Revelation. Rema. So, you it's slow. Your hands. Jesus. But we will the pray. Miracles, they happen. One prayer. One prayer. One prayer. Any part of your life that is in the water. Jesus. We are about to clap and pray that because of the supernatural, may it come back again. Amen. Clap your hands and pray right now. Aya, Somebody aya, clap your hands. Aya. Some people help them, help them, help them. Help them. Aya. 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 